Okay, everyone. So uh, it's about time that we can start, but uh, uh, let's wait for one more minute. So, uh, okay, so let's get started. Uh, so today we are going to uh, continue our discussion on uh, binary search trees, okay? So uh, to begin the lecture, let's uh, look at uh, this particular binary search tree, uh, which is uh, a very bad binary search tree, right? In theory, it satisfies all the uh, conditions for a binary search tree, Therefore, by definition, it is a binary search tree. But if we really use it for searching an item like uh, a, a note, then uh, you know basically we don't save time, right? We uh, basically need to do linear search because uh, there is only one branch here. You know, from the root to the leaf, there is only one path. Okay, so so I say this is really a very bad binary search tree. And if possible, we would try our best not to construct such a binary search tree that uh, uh, to be used, okay? Now the problem is, we really want to avoid constructing such a binary search tree. But uh, actually, it is not that easy not to construct such a binary search tree. It really depends on our luck. Uh, why do I say that? Now, the reason is very simple. Now, let's look at this binary search tree. Now, this is how this binary search tree is constructed. So let's look at, you know, this program segment, okay? So suppose we declare a variable T, which is the binary search tree. And then uh, first, uh, we assign the empty binary, uh, binary tree to it. And then we insert this node to T, and then we insert another node, and then we insert the third node and the fourth node, okay? So this is how we construct a binary search tree. However, if we are not lucky, if we, constr uh, if we construct a binary search tree by inserting nodes in this particular order, then what will happen? Then, you know, we say, this is how we construct the binary search tree by doing insert node, right? This is just the insert node, uh, 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 function that we have seen last week. Okay, so so let's uh, have a brief review of this insert node. So uh, so this insert node basically we get you know a a tree and a node. Okay, and if the tree is empty, then we just construct a non-empty binary tree, which is uh, you know uh, this well we get n as a root, and then left subtree is empty, but that right subtree is empty. Otherwise, uh, you know, we will construct a non-empty binary search tree either by replacing the root or inserting the node into the left subtree or inserting the node into the right subtree, correct? Right, so, so this is how we write uh, uh, this insert node function. 
So if we just you know naively perform this insert note function, now which is correct, okay, then this is how we get it. So first we say t is an empty binary search tree, and then we insert this note 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 9, and then we get this note. And then when we insert this, then we know that this node should be inserted into the right subtree, just like that. And then if we continue to insert this node, then we insert this node to the right subtree again, which is 016, okay? And uh, finally, we insert this new node to the right subtree again, and then eventually we get this very undesirable uh, binary search tree that you know, we really do not want, okay? But uh, you know, if the life is this, and uh, you know, if all these nodes are input in this particular order, uh, so basically, there's nothing we can do. Well, we uh, we can rearrange the nodes, uh, you know, in some particular order to make this tree better. But but you know that you know, in general we cannot do that. In general, you know, when we get a new node, for example, we get this new node from the user, and then we just insert it. Okay, and then we get this new node from the user and then we just insert it. And, and basically there's nothing uh, we can do about uh, this. So, so, so in general, it is not possible to avoid the construction of such a undesirable binary search tree if, if we only construct the tree by calling this very simple insert node program. So, so, so you know, some of you might think, ah, so there must be a way. To, to construct uh, the binary search tree uh, so that it looks better, okay? So what is a better binary search tree, okay? So one important criterion is that we want a binary search tree to be balanced, okay? So this case, in this case, we have an extremely unbalanced binary search tree. So if we have a binary search tree that is more balanced, like, like this, then uh, it would be better, right? Because, uh, you know, in general, it takes less number of steps to search a particular node, right? No matter what, yeah, I mean, in general, okay? So, so the first question we have is, um, you know, we know that we want to have a more balanced binary search tree, but what is the definition for a balanced binary search tree, okay? So we have to answer this question first. Uh, so here we give a definition. We say a tree is balanced if at any node, now at any node, the height of the left and right subtree differ by at most one, okay? So, so that means if we look at any node and if we look at height of the left subtree of that node and the right subtree of that node, uh, of course, uh, you know, if the height are the same, that would be perfect. But, uh, you know, that would be too much a requirement. But so uh, we say, yes, we allow the height to be uh, different by one at most, not two, okay? Uh, so look at this. Um, this. There are three trees here, okay? So, so let's examine whether they are balanced or not. Now, this for sure is straightforward. It, it is balanced, right? I don't need to explain to you. But if we really follow the definition, so we say, ah, for this node, the height of left of tree equals the right height of left of tree, okay? And for this node, now remember, we say at each node. So we have to check, hey, for this node, left of tree, right of tree, they are of the same height. For this node, left of tree, right of tree, they are of the same height, right? So this is balanced. Okay, so look at this. Is this balanced or not? Can anyone tell me? The middle one. Yes or no? Anyone? Yes, yes, yes. Now, yeah, yeah, there are many people saying yes. So let's check, okay? So consider this note. We consider the height of the left of tree, right of tree. The difference is only one, correct? And we consider this and this and so on. So for example, this, the left of tree and right of tree, right? The, the, the difference in height is only one. For this, right, the left of tree, right of tree, the difference is only one, right? I mean, I mean the height, okay? So actually we check every note the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree differ by 
only one, right? So yes, by definition, this is a balanced binary search tree. How about this one then? Yes or no? The rightmost one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you know, yes. So how about this tree? Is this balanced or not? Left one. No, yeah, that, that's obvious. Okay, let me ask you one more question. So which node has got the problem? Uh, ah, so it's difficult to, to, to point out, right? So, so can anyone tell me, you know, which node uh, would have the problem uh, that does not satisfy the requirement? Which node? Root, good, root. The root does not satisfy the requirement because we consider the root, you know, the height of the left of tree is two, uh, not two, one, two, three, right, three, and then the height of the right of tree is, is, uh, is one, so the difference is two, that is too big a difference. But, uh, you know, that is the only one note, correct? Okay, so, so if you consider all these notes, uh, they, they don't have any problem. They don't have any problem, correct? Okay, okay. so the middle one, is it balanced? Yes or no? No, no, no. Very good, very good. No, okay, which, which node has a problem? So does the root has a problem? Yes or no? The root, no problem. And this node? Yeah, child of, no, yeah, yeah. So, so this, this child of the root has a problem because we consider the left of three and right of three, the difference in height is two, okay? And also this note as well, All right? So, so you see, when a tree is not balanced, right? Probably the, for the root, there's no problem, but for some intermediate notes there, you know, they, they will have problems. How about the right one? Is it balanced? It doesn't, it does not look too balanced, right? Is it balanced? No, no, okay, okay. Can you tell me which note has a problem? Which note? Does the root has a problem? Yeah, okay. Left trial of root, right? Left note, second layer. Okay, good. Yeah, this is the only note that has a problem. So, so very good. So now you understand, you know, how can we determine whether a particular tree is balanced or not, right? So we just check this condition, okay? Okay, how about this? Is it balanced? It looks very balanced. Right? No, okay, no. So everyone should know why, right? Because we consider this node and this node, they cause problem, okay? So, so, so. Okay, so that, that is not a balanced binary search tree. This one, is it balanced? No, no, okay, okay, which node has problem? Yeah, right child of the root, good, good. This, yeah, that is the only one node that has a problem, okay. Uh, so, continue, okay? Left one, is it balanced? No? One no only. Uh, there's only one no. Other people? Uh, so if you say no, so if that's the, the answer, okay, someone said yes, Yes, two yeses. Okay, many yeses. Okay, yes, yes, it is balanced. Now, if we look at all these nodes, so for example, for this root, if we consider the left subtree and right subtree, the difference in height is only one, correct? So this node, yeah, the, the difference in height for the left subtree and right subtree is only one. And this node, no problem. And, and all these nodes, they have no problem. Ah, so you see, so sometimes uh, you, you cannot believe your eyes, right? So, so, so you see, this tree does not look too balanced, but by definition, it is balanced, okay? Then how about this one? Is it balanced? 
No, no, no. Well, okay, good. Which node has problem? Right child of root and root, okay. Now for the right child of the root, it has no problem, right? Because it has only two empty subtrees, so no problem. The root, the root, the root has problem because we consider the left subtree, the height is one, two, three. The right subtree, the height is one. So the difference in height is two, okay? So therefore, therefore the root has a problem. Okay, and, uh, and this node has no problem. Okay, good. Okay, so any questions so far? No, okay. So, so here we understand, you know, how to determine whether a particular tree is balanced or not. Okay, so, so the main topic for today's lecture is AVL trees, okay. So AVL tree was uh, invented by two people. Okay, so so it is named after you know these two people. Okay, so uh, so so nowadays we only call it call it uh, AVL tree for short. Okay, so so what's an AVL tree? Now we say an AVL tree is identical to a binary tree, tree except that for every node in the tree, the height of the left subtree and the right subtree can differ by at most one. Hey, so that means AVL tree is a balanced binary search tree. So uh, you say, well, why don't we just call it by a balanced binary search tree, but uh, give it a special name? Uh, the reason is these two people, okay, uh, have invented a very nice method of uh, keeping the tree balanced, uh, no matter what order the nodes are inserted. Okay, so, so you can insert the nodes into the tree and construct a tree. Right? And, and the order of uh, node insertion can be in any arbitrary order, but uh, you know, there is a very smart way of uh, keeping the tree balanced. Okay? So let's look at how we do it. Okay? So let me ask you, is this a AVL tree? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, of course, right? By definition, an AVL tree is simply a binary search tree uh, that is balanced. Okay, so here we make an assumption that is all the keys in, in all these nodes should satisfy the requirement for a binary search tree. For example, all the trees in the left subtree should be less smaller than the key of the root, and the key of the root should be greater than, uh, so to be smaller than, than all the keys in the right subtree and so on, okay? And all the, tree, all the keys are unique, right? We have to satisfy all these requirements, okay? Is this AVL tree? Yes or no? No, no, good, no, because it is not balanced, okay? Good. Uh, how about these two? Is this an AVL tree? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Is this balanced? It is is this balanced? Is it, is this an AVL tree? Yes or no? No, good. Good. Okay. So so you you all know what it is. Now, now actually, the basic technique of keeping the tree balanced is rotation. So let me illustrate what we mean by rotation using a simple example, okay? So suppose, uh, you know, we uh, insert a keys, uh, insert nodes into the tree. So this is the first node, we insert a node, fried eggs, all right? And, you know, that's the only one node in the tree. And after that, we insert ham. Uh, so ham becomes the right child of fried egg, right? You know why, right? Because H is after uh, F in the alphabet. And, uh, you know, and then we insert sausage, okay? So, uh, so it, it tells us that if we insert fried, fried egg, ham and sausages, then we ha have a very bad binary search tree like that. Now, when this is bad, then what, what do we do? We do rotation. Now, this is what we call rotation. Rotate. After rotation, we get this tree. Now this tree is still a binary search tree, but it is balanced. 
Can you see that? Now stop. So this is called rotation. So we say we are rotating along this axis. Now the axis is Friday and Ham. Friday and Ham. So so we wrote uh yeah, we rotate along this uh, ex uh, uh about this axis, then we get this tree. Okay. Okay. So uh anyway, okay, so so any question about rotation? No, right? So, 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 so you understand what we mean by rotation. So when we construct a AVL tree and we want everything to be, uh, and want the tree to be balanced, uh, when we do we need to do rotation? Okay. So here we give a very useful observation. We say a rotation is needed only when a new node is inserted into an AVL tree, right? So, so why? The reason is, you know, if we, you, you don't modify the tree, the tree should be balanced, okay? And if you don't mod change anything, the tree keeps on being balanced, right? So, so the only uh, situation where we need to do rotation is that if we uh, insert a new node into the AVL tree, then it is possible that uh, the tree becomes unbalanced, right? Because, you know, there's no choice for us to determine you know where the new node should go because uh, we just uh, you know insert it to the left of tree or right of tree depending on it is less than or greater than the root okay so so after we insert we have inserted a new node then uh, it is possible that we need to do some node, uh, some rotation in order to, to to keep the tree balanced okay so that means if we do not insert the note into the tree. We don't do rotation. Okay. So the first uh, uh, rotation uh, that would be needed would be called single rotation. Now, single rotation would be needed if we insert a new note to the left subtree of the left subtree. Now, so that is we insert the node into T1, okay? So that T1 become higher than before by one probably, okay? So we say left subtree of the left subtree. Then we probably need to do rotation, okay? So, so we say, uh, if that's the case, then the node number two, that's the root, violate the AVL balance property after a new node is inserted into T1. Now, of course, uh, we have to be very, very careful. So even if a new node is in, inserted into T1, then we don't always need to do, ro to, to do rotation, right? We only need to do rotation if, if we really need to. That is, if N2 has a problem. That is, the height from here to here is at least two more than the height of T3, okay? So we need to keep track of the height. If that happens, then what do we do? Then we do rotation. Now this is called single, single right rotation, okay? So after rotation, N1 becomes the root, and uh, this T1 becomes the left subtree. The right subtree becomes N2 with T2 and T3. Okay, so this is something that you need to memorize. So this is called right rotation. So you, you know why it is called right rotation, because we, we rotate uh, uh, to the right, right? So, so this is right rotation, okay? So, so that is, if we inserted a node to the left subtree of the left subtree, right? Or here we say the left subtree of the left child. Uh, yeah, if we need to, then we do a right rotation because left, left, right? That is two left, right? When it is two left, then we turn right. Correct? Okay, that is how, how I, I memorize it. So left, left, then, then right rotation, if necessary. So, so actually that is a symmetric case. So the symmetric case is, is that, uh, you know, you begin set a node to the right subtree of the right subtree, then we probably need to do a left rotation, okay? So let me show you one concrete example. Now here, okay, so suppose we uh, uh, have, a, a, we insert this six, okay? So initially we have this tree, and then we want to insert the six. Now look at this. 
before the, the six is inserted, okay, then the tree is balanced. Can you see that? You can check, right? Nothing wrong with the, uh, with the tree without this six, okay? And then when we want to insert this six, then how, what do we do? We say, we put six here, compare five and six. Of course, we need to go to the right, okay? And then we say, this is eight, so we need to go to the left. This is seven, so six should be put here, okay? So that's no choice for us. So after we input uh, this six, okay, uh, to the tree, then we say that, mm, that is a problem. So again, which node has the problem? Can anyone tell me? After six is inserted, which node has the problem? Eight, good, eight, eight has a problem. So, so when eight has a problem, then according to the rules here, then we do a right rotation. Now this is N2, N1. So that means this is N2, this is N1. We do a right rotation. After the right rotation, this part is balanced and everything is fine. Okay, so, so you see, this is how we do rotation. Okay, any questions so far? No, not yet. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is about a, a, a symmetrical case, right? So if we have inserted a node to the right subtree of the right subtree, okay, then the N1 will have the problem, right? N1 violate the AVL balance property. Uh, if, if we have inserted a new node to the, to the T3, okay? So if that happens, then what do we do? We do a left single rotation. Uh, so, so, so maybe you would wonder why we keep calling it single rotation because we rotate only once, okay? So once, so single rotation, and it is a uh, a left rotation, okay? Uh, so we do a left rotation. Ah, I just spotted a typo here. So it should be a single left rotation. I forget about this, okay? So I, I will modify, I, I will correct it. So that's a single left rotation because we rotate left, okay? So left. Okay, so, so we rotate about this axis between N1 and N2, right? So this is the left rotation, okay? Any questions so far? Okay, no, no question. So let's uh, do some exercises, okay? So suppose we uh, consider a, a longer example. If we now insert three nodes, three, two, one, okay, in this particular order, okay? So initially we have an empty tree, we insert three, so we get three only, okay? And then we insert two, you know that two should be inserted here, right? So we get two here. And then we insert one, okay? And you know, we have started to get problems. One, okay. So that is, uh, you know, this tree is not balanced, right? So we need to do rotation. Okay, uh, what rotation do we need, left or right? Never right. Okay, right, good, good. So, so along which axis? The axis is between two, three, right? So two, three, right rotation. So after rotation, so we say doing right rotation and then we get this, good, no problem, right? Very simple. So let's go on. Now, we insert four and five. So where should we put four? Four should be, uh, here, right? So it should be like this. Is this tree balanced? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, okay. No. Mm. Uh, yes, someone says yes, someone says no. So let's check. Okay. Uh, so for this root, there's no problem. Can you see? The left subtree, right subtree, the difference in height is one. Okay. For all other nodes, the height uh, of the left subtree and right subtree differ only by one. Okay, good, good. Okay, good. Now, five. So where should we put five? Five is, should be put at the, here, right? Right side, right chart of four, like this. Good. Uh, okay, so do we need to do rotation? Definitely, yes, yes. Okay, so can anyone tell me which axis well, where's the axis of rotation? Three. 
Uh, okay. So so usually we will see yeah we will say three four, but because when you say three, then um, uh, yeah someone will say yeah should it be two three or three four? So it will be clear right, if you say three four. Okay, three four. So it's a left rotation or right rotation. Left, good left rotation. So after rotation, you know what we get? Just like this, all right, and rotate. So we get this, good. So, so you see, the tree is, is uh, rebalanced, okay? No problem. So rotation can really keep the tree balanced. So let's go on, okay? That is not yet the end of it, okay? So we start with this tree. Now we insert six. So six should be put here, right? Right side of five. Uh, do we need to do rotation? Yes or no? Rotation, uh, uh, yes. Okay, which not has a problem? Which note? Two, good. Two rot. Okay, and then and then, uh, you know what? Uh, where is the axis of rotation? Axis of rotation. Four. Uh, give me two notes. I need two notes to determine. Uh, Two four, two four. Uh, other people, do you ever, does everyone agree? Uh, yes, two four, two four. Okay, when when we when we say two has a problem, okay, then then we do rotation like this, okay, and rotate. Okay, good. Now that's a left rotation. Okay, so so far you you know by just simply doing rotations, we can always keep the trees uh, balanced. Okay, and, and when something happens, then we say, hey, let's check which node has a problem." Okay, so how do we know which node has a problem? So basically, you can imagine, you can imagine, every node will check the height of its left subtree and the height of its right subtree and calculate the difference, okay? And in this particular case, we say, mm, there is only one node that report a problem, okay? So, so we will do rotation for this node and then the axis would be here, right? Notation. Okay, good. Any questions so far? Okay, if not, then let's go on. So we start with this. Now we insert seven. Do we need to do rotation? Yes, yes, good, good, you know. Uh, the axis should be what? Five, six, five, six, good. So it's a five, six, right? Left rotation, so it's like this, okay? So we rotate, good, very simple. Uh, Okay, uh, anyone wants to ask anything? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, so, so far so good, right? Uh, good. Now, if that's the case, then let's go on. Okay, so, so, so far, so good, no problem. So we have so far considered two cases, okay? Now, I, I really asked you to memorize these two cases. Okay, how to do it? Case one, left, left, then right, turn, right rotation. Okay, so that means if a new node is inserted into the left subtree of the left child, right, that is left, left, then right rotation. And case two, the symmetric uh, case, uh, so right, right, then left rotation. So it's very simple, uh, very easy to memorize, right? Left, left, that means two left, then we do right rotation. Right, right, then it's two right, right? And then we do left rotation. So there are two cases. Okay, good. Um, anyone has wants, wants to ask anything? Okay, so, so whenever you have questions, you can simply just ask. So let me go on. Uh, so now we consider a, a, a new situation, okay? We, for example, now we, we consider a situation when a new node is inserted into the right subtree of the left child. So previously we say if a, we insert a new node to T1, left and then left, right, then we do right rotation. Of course, right, right, and left rotation. How about left, right? 
okay that is left right okay so 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 we go left and go right and then new node is inserted into t2 so uh do you think we can fix this problem by simple uh rotation so let's try so after rotation suppose we say we rotate okay this is the axis rotation then what do we get we get this n1 is raised to the root n2 is is lowered here t2 is here t3 is here do we solve the problem? Uh, no. Which node has the problem? N2. N2. N2? Yes or no? Now, let's consider this case. Okay. Yeah, the root. Yeah, actually, yes, it's the root that has the problem. But now, we consider this case. Here we make an assumption that is, uh, you know, suppose, uh, you know, before we insert the, the node into T2, everything is balanced, okay? So, so that is uh, uh, T1 and T2, you know, they are basically uh, balanced, uh, you know, the, the, the difference in height is at most one, okay? And T3, uh, you know, the height of T3 should be, uh, the, you know, the, the should be at least uh, the height of T1 or, or T2, right? To keep the whole thing balanced, okay? But now, you know, we, if we do that, then the root has, has a problem, okay? So what, how, you know, what should we do? What should we do? Now let's look at one concrete example and see what is the specific problem, okay? Now, for example, here, we uh, consider this tree, okay? This is okay. And then we insert 16 and then 15. So after 16 is inserted, 16 is put here, correct? Right, so 16, we put it here and to the right, to the right, to the right, okay? And then we put 15, now 15 is here, correct? So, so 15, go to the right, go to the right, go to the right, and then left. So you see, this is 15. Um, okay, so in this case, which node has got the problem? Six, seven, seven, and six. Uh, four, six, seven. Well, that is a very clever answer. Yes, four and six and seven, they all have got problems. Okay, okay. So you see, seven has got the problem. Six has got the problem, and four as well. Ah, so we need to rotate. So, so we have several options. One is to rotate along this axis, or along this axis, or along this axis, or you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So, so, what should we do? Now, 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 basically, that is the problem we we face. Okay. Uh, all of the above? No, 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 no. We don't need to do that. Uh, you will see that we only need to do one rotation, okay? Uh, if we fix this part, for example, if somehow we fix this part, okay, 7, 16, 15, we somehow fix this part, then all the problems are gone. Do you see that? Okay, so suppose we put something here and then you know, on the left side, left hand side, one one child, right hand side, one child. Right? We fix this part by doing some rotation. Then you know, everything else will be fixed. Okay. So one rotation would be sufficient. So which rotation we need to do? So basically, you know, the the principle is that is that we fix the lower part. We fix the lower part first. Okay. We fix the lower part. Uh, you know, the lower the better. The lowest part is the uh, the part that we need to to fix okay now uh so so actually let's look at let's look at the uh, the program that we are going to write uh probably not today today we don't have time to 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 write program but probably next week next week we will uh we will discuss how to write a program to do uh the rotations in abl trees so 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 imagine when we uh do e insertion no insertion how do we do it? We say, we compare this 15 with four, and then we say, ah, for 15 is greater than four. Therefore, we would insert this 15 to the rise of three, and that is it, correct? 
So the whole problem is reduced to a new problem that is inserting 15 to the right subtree. And then after that, we say mm, 15 should be inserted into this subtree, right? 7, 16, right? And then, uh, and then you know, uh, we would consider this again, and this 15 will be inserted to, into the left subtree of 16. And then 7 will be the first node to detect problem, okay? Because, you know, because this 16 will say, I have no problem. I have only one child in, uh, on the left hand side, no child on the right hand side. So this 16 will say, I don't have problem after insertion. And then this seven will say, ah, I have got the problem because I'm no left subtree. Uh, or I should, I should say the height of the left subtree is empty, uh, is zero. But I have too many nodes you know, in the right subtree. So I have got the problem. So, so seven is the first node to, do, to, to report a problem. Why do I say it's the first note? Because, because the control is not yet returned to six and is not yet returned to four, right? Because, you know, four calls insert to six, six calls insert to seven, right? So, so seven will say, okay, let me try to fix my problem. Okay, so seven will try to fix the problem. And after seven is, you know, after problem is fixed here somehow, then six will say, hey, you see, I have no problem. Four will say, mm, I have no problem. Okay, so, uh, so, so this is uh, the program that we are going to write next week. So, so here, okay, let's focus on this part. Let's try to fix this part. What, what rotation? Seven, 16 left. Okay, good, good suggestion. Seven, 16 left. Okay, I have good two suggestions, so let's do. Seven, 16 left, boom, like this. <laughs> Okay, what's that? Ah, so that is a real problem, right? Seven and 16 left, and that is all we get. This 16 now has two left children, which is not legal, okay? So that means 16 left rotation is not the solution, okay? So, what do we do? You will see the next slide. We are going to introduce ro double rotation, okay? But before we continue, oh, okay, okay. Another suggestion, 715, uh, no, 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 no. Here, I only say that six, uh, no, 716 left rotation, we will end up with something like this. And this is not good. This is not allowed, this is illegal. Okay, and so so we don't do six. Uh, so we don't do this left rotation. How, uh, how do we do it? No problem. Okay, but we have a break now. So let's have a break for fifteen minutes, right? And then uh, we will continue from the next slide at uh, twelve thirty. Okay, so see you again in fifteen minutes.
Okay, so uh, welcome back. Um, so is everyone ready? Um, I I see that uh, during the break I got one question from uh, Puyin Lam. Okay, so uh, basically uh, you ask uh, you are not quite sure why it is unbalanced when the problem comes from root. Uh, I guess uh, you refer to to this page, okay. So as uh, we said uh, for this particular example, there are three nodes that have uh, problems. Okay, one is four, one is six, one is seven. Okay, the reason is the reason is uh, if we consider this node number six, uh, the left subtree is empty, the right subtree uh, is sixteen and fifteen, so the height is two. So the difference in height will be two. Right, four for seven. So similarly for six, the height uh, of left of three is one, the height of the right of three is uh, three. So therefore, we know that uh, the difference in height would be two again, right? So, so it's the same thing for number four. So we say uh, both, uh, I mean, all these four, six, and seven, they all have got problems because uh, you, you, when they consider the height of the left of tree and the height of the right of tree, then uh, the difference is more than one. So they all have got problems. I'm not, I'm not sure whether you ask about this or anything else. Uh, so, uh, so, so, so anyway, the tree is unbalanced. Uh, so, so you ask uh, so root height left is two right is four so yes that's correct so so for for, the, for this root the height of the left sub three would be two right because there are two levels you see so level one level two but the right sub three four levels this is level one level two level three level four okay okay so the height is four okay so good so does anyone want to ask anything else Okay, good. Now, so uh, let's uh, continue with double rotation. Now, uh, we consider again a new node is inserted into the right subtree of the left child. So, so that means the situation is we insert a node to the left and then right, right? Right subtree of left child. So if that's the case, then, then this subtree, this subtree is too high. Okay, it's too high, left and right, and then this subtree becomes very high. So uh, if that happens, uh, you know, what do we do? Now, here is how we do it. We do a left-right double rotation. Uh, so, so it's this, okay? We do a left rotation and then a right rotation. Uh, and then the tree will become this one. I'm not sure whether you, you, can, you can see it very clearly. Right, so first we do a left rotation. When we do the left rotation, N2 is raised up and then uh, N1 will be uh, getting lower, okay? And then we do a right rotation, then N2 becomes a root and N3 is pushed to the right, okay? And then we just uh, reshuffle T1, T2, T3, T4, okay? And, and then we, we get this, uh, tree which is rebalanced. Okay, so so let me show you in more details. Now, what is left right double rotation? So there are actually two steps in the left right double rotation. Step is left rotation. Uh, step one is left rotation. Step two is right rotation. So let me show you step number one. Okay, left rotation like this. Now after we do the left rotation, we get this tree. Now this tree is even worse, it's extremely unbalanced. Okay, so N1 is down, N2 is up, right? T1, T2 here, T3 here, and then T3, uh, N3 here, T4 here. And after that, what do we do? Uh, what we do is uh, right rotation. That is num uh, step number two. Right rotation, right here. So, we, so N2 is put here, N3, uh, N, N, N3 is down, right? And then M1 is up with the two subtrees T1 and T2. Okay, so, so that is uh, the result of the left right double rotation. Uh, so, uh, so, so let, me, let me go back a little bit. Okay, so here, look at this. One thing I want you to notice is, is this T2. 
Okay, so first step is that we do a, a left rotation. Now, we, when we do a left rotation, the N1 is, is, uh, goes to here. Of course, T1 is still here, but T2, now that is a left rotation, right? When this is left rotation, then N2 will bring this T3 up, right? N2 will bring this T3 up. But T2 can no longer be the left subtree of N2, right? T2 will become the right subtree of N1. Okay, so, so, so that is the situation. And then, you know, here again, we have a similar situation. When N2 is, is, uh, is pushed up here, then the left child is N1, right child is N3. So how about T3? T3 will be forced to uh, become the left of three of M3. Okay, so that is the situation that we face. Okay, any questions here? Yeah? So maybe let me go on. Okay, so, so you know that is called the left writable rotation. Now, let me remind you, when do we need to do a left right upper rotation? We need to do a left right upper rotation when we insert a node to the left and right, okay? Left subtree, right subtree. Then we do a left right upper rotation, okay? So, so a, a, a symmetric case is, of course, the right left upper rotation. Okay, so before we go to that, so we have the summary. So what's, so a left right upper rotation means a left rotation followed by a right rotation. Uh, so just like that, no other meaning. Okay, nothing really special. There's no trick. Okay, so we say left right double rotation. And then of course, this is the right left double rotation. We insert a node into somewhere here. So that's, if that is, we insert a node to the right and then left and then we need to do rotation because N1 has the problem, okay? So we do a right, left, double rotation, okay? So it is very easy to memorize. We say left, right, then left, right, double rotation. Right, left, then right, left, double, uh, double rotation, correct? Okay, so this is the right, left, double rotation. Okay, so, so here, let me again show you all the TT details, right? So for example, here, you know, when we do a right left double rotation, then what do we do? Here, we first do a right rotation. After the right rotation, we get this tree. N2 is up, M3 is on the right. And so T2 will be brought up by um, N2. So N2 brings T2 up here and then M3 will be down, so T2, T4 is here. How about T3? T3, T3 will now become the left subtree of M3. Okay, okay. Uh, so, and, and after that, we have the, the left rotation. That's the same thing. Okay, so like before. Ah, I see a question uh, from, uh, from Chung Wai Tong Wong. Uh, in doing the rotation between two nodes, can we just consider which node is larger, just like if upper level is bigger then do right rotation. No, 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 that, that is not the criterion. The criterion is uh, whether we have inserted node into the left, left subtree or right, right subtree or left, right subtree or right, left subtree. Uh, you should know what I mean, right? Uh, so here I invented my uh, own terminology. We, we call this left, left sub three and left, right sub three, but you should know what I mean. So, so, so here we first identify the uh, problematic node, right? So, so, so after that, we determine whether the note, the new node has been inserted to the, the left, left sub three, left, right sub three, right, left sub three or right, right sub three. Okay, then we determine whether uh, you know, we should do a double rotation or single rotation. Um, so, so I will go into, I'm going to, to show you the example, but here I want to emphasize one thing. So what's a right, left, right, double rotation? So a right, left, double rotation means a right rotation followed by a left single rotation on one level higher, okay? Just like that. Well, there's no, no other meaning, no trick, no, nothing really special, right? Okay, so let me show you. Here, uh, I want to insert 15, right? Just like that. Now, 
First, we would like to uh, remind you, I would like to remind you that which node has a problem. So it's four, six, seven, they all have got problem. And then we say, we start with seven because seven is the lowest, is the lowest. I mean, in terms of the level, okay? Seven is the lowest. Uh, so uh, of course you can say four, six, seven, you know, seven is the biggest, but, but normally we don't, we don't consider it this way. We say, seven, uh, seven, six, four, seven is the lowest. So seven has got a problem. And what's the problem? The problem is a new node has been inserted into the right left subtree. You see, now we call it right left subtree, okay? So when it is inserted into the right left subtree, then what do we do? Right left, then we do right left double rotation. Remember that? Right left, then right left double rotation. So right left double rotation consists in two parts. The first part, right rotation, along which axis? Can anyone tell me? Right rotation and then left. Right load rotation axis, what is it? Good, good. Yes, 15, 16. Okay, so, so, we, so here I say that is the problematic note. And then we do a right left double rotation. So first right, 15, 16, and then left, okay? So we do right rotation first. You see, after doing right rotation, then we get 15 and 16. Now here I mark N1, N2, N3 here so that you can uh, check uh, the uh, previous uh, page like, like, like this, okay? Here I show you M1, N2, N3. So, so, so here, if you have time, you want to check, then I will tell you this is M1, this is N2, this is N3, okay? So, so first, right rotation. And then left rotation. After the left rotation, you see, I got 15 here, right? Seven here, and then 16 here. Now that is what I call double rotation. And this right and left double rotation. And how do we know that we should do a right left of double rotation? The reason is very simple. We have inserted a new node to the right left subtree. Okay. Uh, ah, now let me remind you. Formally, we no one calls it right left subtree. There's no such a term. Okay. So don't quote me. So so formally speaking, I have to say it's the uh, left subtree of the right subtree. But uh, you know this is very long and very very um, uh, you know I, I don't like this term right right subtree or left subtree so I just call it right left subtree or left right subtree or you know that would be easier so uh, so you, you see the 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 problem is that we uh, we consider now that that is the pro the the, the note with the problem fifteen is inserted into the right and then left subtree okay so we do a right left double rotation. Okay, so um, I, I, I got one question from Kevin privately. Uh, so, so maybe you can consider, you know, putting your questions to the public. So maybe next time. So here I, I re just repeat your question to everyone. Uh, so Kevin asks again, we just compare the three numbers and put the middle one at top. That is this. Uh, 7, 16, 15, uh, can we just compare these three numbers uh, and then put the middle one at the top as the root? Uh, I would say mm, in this particular example, yes, you can, but in general, you cannot because here <coughs> we have a very, very simple case uh, because, because 16 has no rise of tree, 15 has no you know, no uh, other other trees as well, right? So seven has no other trees. So just imagine if there, if seven has a non-empty left subtree, then what should we do? Not that's nothing we can do. We can really do uh, the rotation only. Okay, so always do rotations. Okay, so that's left, right, double rotation. Okay, after that, we, we come to this point and everything is fine, everything is fine. Okay, any questions about left, right, uh, this right, left double rotation, right? No, okay. So if no problem, then we insert a note with key 14. So where should we put 14? Anyone can tell me. 
Can anyone tell me? 14? Where? Right, sub three of seven. Yes, right. It's like that. Okay. Can you find, you know, is this okay? Uh, does it have a problem? Do you think any note has a problem? Is it still balanced? Six, six has six and four, six and four. Yes, now, now usually when six has a problem, then four would normally uh, have a problem, but, but that's not always the case, okay? Anyway, so six has a problem. So six has a problem. So what rotation do we need? So what rotation? How, how do we determine, you know, what kind of rotation we need? Uh, so here we will say that, uh, yeah, very good, very good. That, now, so so you, you will see. Of course, four will have a problem. There will be a problem with four. Six, is there a problem? Uh, yes, six have a problem. But 15, 15 is okay, correct? 15 is okay. Uh, is, so someone says 15, not okay. Uh, but actually, you know, 15 is okay because the left sub three, the height is, one, is two. For the right sub three, the height is one. So 15 is okay, okay? And then, uh, and then six would definitely be a problematic node. The reason is for the height uh, of the left sub three, uh, then it's, that's all, you know, the height is only one. But for the right sub three, for the right sub three, the height is one, two, three, right? The height is three, okay? So, so, so we get six. So, uh, so basically, you know, we need to do a, a double rotation, why? Now, look at this, oh, sorry. Yes, 14 is here, okay? So, the problem now is what rotation do we need? Now, the answer is this. Six is the problem. And where is 14? 14 is a new node. So where is 14? 14 is inserted into the right sub tree and then left sub tree. Uh, am I right? So, so, six is the problematic node. So, all we need to do is do a right left double rotation. Oh, okay, question time. Right, left, double rotation. <laughs> Any questions? Now, let me, let me repeat, okay? So how do we know that it should be a right, left, or double, rota double rotation? The reason is very simple. First, we identify the node with the problem. The, the node with the problem is six. And then where is the new node? The new node is here, 14. So it is, for, so we say, uh, six is here, okay, 14 is here. So 14 is in the right, left, subtree of six. So we do a right, left, double rotation. Okay, so when we do a right, left, double rotation, remember, okay, so, so first we do a right rotation. Can anyone tell me where is the axis of the right rotation? Step number one, right rotation, where is the axis? Yes, the right rotation axis, yeah, 15 and seven. Okay, 15 and, and seven. And then, good. good. So, so we would do it here, seven and 15. And after that, you know, we do a left rotation, right? So at first we do right rotation, and then we uh, do a left rotation, okay? Left rotation would be here, okay? So you, you see, we do a left rotation, and after that, now this is how we do relative rotation. Seven is put here, six goes down, five to here, okay, and then here, right? So that is a rebalanced tree. Okay, any questions? Hmm? 
Hmm. So, so it should be simple, right? So let me let me just go on. Okay. So next step. Now we come to this point. Next step, we insert a new node thirteen. So where is thirteen? Where should it be put? Left of fourteen. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Be more confident. Yeah, that is correct. You know, left of fourteen. Good. Okay. Do we need to do rotation? Yes, yes. Okay. Can anyone tell me which node has a problem? Four. Uh, four. Four. Okay, four. So so four has a problem. Now let's verify. Now for this four, you know, the height of left subtree would be two. The height of the right subtree would be four. Okay. So um so uh so four has a problem, okay? So uh, what rotation do we need? Guess, anyone want to guess? Now, where is the new node? The new node is here. So there are only four possibilities, right? Four. One is, you know, left, left, uh, left, right, right, left, and right, right. So. We have inserted 13 to the, what? To the right sub tree and right sub tree again, correct? Ah, so, so this is how we determine. So we only consider that 13 is in the right sub tree of the right sub tree, right, right. So when it is right, right, then what rotation do we need? So when it's right, right, uh, yeah, we need left rotation. So, so remember, left, left, then right rotation. Right, right, then left rotation, okay? And of course, left, right, then left, right, double rotation. Right, left, then right, left, double rotation. So in this case, we do a single, single left rotation. So where is the axis? Axis, anyone? Four, seven? Yes, four, seven, good. Four, seven. So how to rotate? So we say we do it here, okay? Four, seven, left rotation because the new node is in the left, oh no, sorry, right, right subtree, okay? So we do a left rotation. So after doing the left rotation, we get this one might come to this point Se seven is up okay and then four is down now four we have two one three here but look at this the left of three of seven six and and five it keeps the shape six and five but it becomes the right of three of four okay and then 15 is is uh, going up to here so 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 we get this okay good any questions Mm. Okay, so so let me go on then. Any questions? No. Okay. Now next, let's uh, insert twelve. Okay. So where should we put twelve? Where? Left of thirteen. Good. Left of thirteen. Do we need rotation now? Yes, good. Which node has problem? Uh, 14, 15, 14, 15, that is correct. Both 14 and 15 have got the problem. Uh, so, so we do rotation uh, for 14 or 15. Of course, for 14, right? We can ignore 15. The reason is after we have fixed this part, then 15 will no longer with, uh, has any problem. Okay. So, so what rotation do we need? Right rotation. Good. All you know, right? 13, 14, right rotation. Good. Uh, so we have to do a, 
Oh, so what, what is one, two, one, three, one, four? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that is, no. The right rotation will be done about this axis, okay? Oh, just like that, okay? Uh, after that, uh, you know, all we get is this one, very simple. Okay, so uh, so I hope, you know, after that, you know, all these steps, you now know how to do rotations and you can memorize you know, when to do what, right? So, so that is probably the end of it, okay? So in the you know, next two pages, uh, let me just, uh, you know, give you the summary. So actually today we have considered four cases. The first case is case number one, right? And then, uh, you, know, all, you know, we have inserted a new node to the left, left subtree, then we do a right rotation. And then right, right subtree, well, we do a left rotation, right? And then what? We insert it into the uh, left, right subtree, then left, right double rotation. Right, left subtree, okay, then right, left double rotation. So the key point is that, the root, the root is always the note with problem, okay? So we, we say, we first identify, hey, which note has the problem? And then we, we, uh, we make it the root. And then we uh, say, where is the new note? Oh, the new note is in the left, right subtree. Then we do the left, right double rotation. If the new note is in the right, left subtree, then we do a right, left double rotation. Okay, that is how we do uh, the rotation. So, um, any questions? No? So, so if there's no question, uh, then that's very good, okay? It's, it's really, really very good. Uh, that's, uh, any questions? We still have some time, okay? Okay, good. Now, if there's no question, then let's end the lecture now, right? And then uh, we'll meet again next uh, week. And next week we will talk about the implementation. I will say the implementation of ABL trees is extremely simple. Uh, although it looks difficult, but that, let me show you, it's extremely simple and straightforward. Okay, you will see. Uh, well, of course, if you are interested, you can download the lecture notes and read lecture notes yourself and I have uploaded a lot of lecture notes uh, for the next few weeks right uh, so you can all you can find them all in the course website okay so if there's no more question then uh, let's uh, end here to, for today right and see you again next week <laughs>